Being an empath can be challenging at times, as a consequence of the acute sensitivity that constitutes being an empath. For this is what being an empath means. Being an empath means that the more you realize you are the embodiment of God's love, the more you are filled with that love. Being an empath means that divine love and joy are acutely present in your being, for the more you feel as God feels, the more you will be met by the supernatural aid of the divine and the angels. And so turn your sensitivity into a tool. Turn your sensitivity into a purpose. Use your sensitivity to create meaning in the world. Use your sensitivity by turning it into a superpower. The great creator gathered together the whole of creation and said, I want to hide something special from the humans until they are ready to find it. This is the soulful concept of their loving and how they create with it. The eagle said, Give it to me and I will take it to the moon. The creator said, No, one day they will go there and find it. The salmon said, I will bury it in the deepest part of the ocean. The Creator said, No, they will go there too. The buffalo said, I will bury it in the middle of the Great Plains. The Creator said, But they will probably cut into the skin of the earth and find it even there. And then, Grandmother Mole, who lives in the womb of the earth, and has no physical eyes, but sees with spiritual eyes, said, Put it inside them. And so, feel yourself in your own personal sanctuary. Feel your body grounded. Be aware of the spine being aligned. And fill the spine with your pranic cord, fill it with a silver white light that is as broad as your spine, if not as broader, almost filling your body. And feel the connection between your pranic cord and Mother Earth in all her security. And then feel the connection between your pranic cord and the inspiration of Father Heaven. And then, let all your breath go. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. You came to planet Earth to feel and so heal. Breathe in. Breathe out. You came to Earth's surface to know that feeling is your evolution. Breathe in. Breathe out. You came to this ground to embody God's love and kindness. Breathe in. Breathe out.
You came to this orb with a superpower called empathy. Breathe in. Breathe out. You came to this land to gain from a profound gift. Breathe in. Breathe out. You came to this globe to live compassion with a largesse that breathes for all time. Breathe in. Breathe out. You came to this surface to know and perceive how others feel. Breathe in. Breathe out. You came to this celestial orb to pulse the pulse of life as true, honest and pure. Breathe in. Breathe out. You came to Earth as a vessel of knowing, for your sensitivity tells you what you need to know. Breathe in. Breathe out. You came to this Earth to bring joy and forgiveness. Breathe in. Breathe out. You came to this soil to bring forth your creativity. Breathe in. Breathe out. You came to this sphere to help heal the whole world. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then breathe in your own rhythm, feeling the brilliance in the silver white pranic cord, knowing your connection with the divine, knowing your connection with Mother Earth. From the day we arrive on this planet and breathing step into the sun, there's more to be seen than can ever be seen, more to do than ever can be done. In the cycle of life there is a wheel of fortune. In the cycle of life there is a leap of faith. In the cycle of life there is a band of hope then we find our place on the path of unwinding, for this is the cycle of life. Some of us fall by the wayside, some of us soar to the stars, some of us sail through our troubles, and some have to live with the scars. There's far too much to take in here, more to find than can be found, but the sun rolling high through the azure blue sky keeps the great and the small on the path of love high, which reminds us we are all just one. The cycle of life is the wheel of fortune. The cycle of life is the leap of faith. The cycle of life is the band of hope. Then we find our place on the path of unwinding, for this is the cycle of life. Namaste, Namaste, Namaste.